Hey, y'all. Chris here. I got Coach with me. Hey, y'all. And we're talking about these recent articles that just came in the past two days talking about the Earth's inner core. The articles are talking about how a study has said that the core has stopped moving. So this comes across as breaking news or something like that, where these people are saying that the core has stopped moving or is spinning in the opposite direction, has paused. All right, so let's just read through it. Earth's inner core spin has slowed and paused. Okay, so they don't really give us the year that this has happened. Apparently, that's not this year. This is something that has already happened. Right. Scientists believe this happens roughly every seven decades as the core will start spinning in a different direction. Mm, wow. A new study says that there's a direct connection between the core spin and life on Earth's surface. I don't know what the significance of that is. but Well, in the book of Daniel, we're given 70-year cycles. Mm -hmm. We understand the 70 cycles and multiples up to 490 years will be considered a time. So you have... Um, those sevens broken down in there. But anyway, go ahead. Earth's inner core stops spinning, but don't fret. It appears this happens from time to time, say every seven decades or so. A new study published in Nature Geoscience by geophysicist Yi Yang and Ye Dong Song of Peking University in Beijing explored the nature of the movement of the Earth's inner core, largely made up of iron and molten liquids. They found that the inner core's movement recently reduced enough that they consider it paused, all part of what seems to be associated with a gradual turning back of the inner core as part of an approximately seven-decade oscillation. And so they say it's paused. They say it's paused since 1970. That the last turning point was in 1970. The last time it moved. Or the last time it stopped moving. Our understanding of Earth's inner core doesn't have a strong history. Ancient days, of course, had folks talking about a hollow core. Then came the understanding of iron and a molten mixture of making up the Earth's metal, coupled with the theory of spinning happening separate from the rest of the Earth. It says that Song confirmed this spinning in 1996. But from perusing other articles, there was a lot of them, all in the span of one day. It seems that what they're talking about this pause is that it's just stopped spinning relative to the rest of the Earth. Yeah. And then it was spinning faster at one point, and it slowed down to where it was spinning with the Earth. It's considered paused when it was spinning with the Earth. And from what I understand, this happened, like I thought they said, 1974 is when they noticed that it stopped. Or maybe it was 2009 that they noticed that it stopped, but it has been stopped for a while. The thing about what's going on today, what I understand, is that it is now going back in the opposite direction. Right. As instead of being paused and spinning together, the crust of the earth is spinning faster than the core is right now. And so that'll bring about changes and other things I saw so talking about the length of the day and the temperature of the earth. Well, you're talking about the video that we did yesterday because we mentioned those things in the video and how it would change time. Mm -hmm. But as far as this is concerned, is there anything else we want to touch on this article? I mean, we'll do more videos on it. We just wanted to let everybody know that this is going on. This is like you say, breaking news that the core has stopped. Right. You know, um, I wonder why we didn't spend much time talking about it before now. Well, it's one thing for it to stop. It's another for it to start spinning in the opposite direction. Or people are now paying attention to this pole shift and anything related to pole shifts is all of a sudden becoming important information. Whereas, you know, in 1974, nobody really knew about a pole shift. Right. And now that everybody's expecting one to happen, 
you know, a do for one. So, and you know, it could happen as far as we're concerned without scripture. One could say that it, it could happen any day now. Denewness.com saying that the earth's core has stopped and may be reversing. Because that's all this really is done is slowed down. Right. It slowed down to the point where it was paused, as they called it, but now it's slowed down where it ain't paused. We're going faster. It's like being in a car, and all of a sudden we're going faster than the wheels of the car. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the wheels are still going forward. We're going forward, too. But the wheels are moving back, and we're going ahead of it. Well, only bad can happen from that point, you know, unless it's the wheels suddenly start to speed up again, or the core starts to slow down, or, you know, the core can slow down, too. But I guess the fear is that the core will slow down. And reduce the magnetic field. Reduce the electromagnetic field or have to all of a sudden make up the distance really quickly where it jerks. Well, we appreciate Christian for bringing this to our attention. I wasn't aware of it. Any of these articles or anything that was talking about the core of the earth changing directions. But it definitely plays into everything that we've been talking about, the pole shift. So you guys check out some of the other videos popping up on the subject of the pole shift and the shift in our electromagnetic field. But with that, I guess we'll close it out and leave that as that. Well, see something, say something. And shalom. Shalom.